Hey everyone, I hope you had a great day. The first story is called Orders via phone only. This happened a long time ago in an age when cell phones were only used for calling people. I had gone to a restaurant and upon seeing the long lines I opted to order to go. I got in the line of people pick up and pay. It was a different line than dining in. When it was my turn the cashier said I could not order to go. He said all to go orders must be phoned in. I said that didn't make sense since I'm already here. His manager was behind him and told me the same thing. I asked if the dine-in line would let me order to go. Nope. Phone in only. Everyone in line behind me could hear my frustration. I asked the cashier who took the orders and what the phone number to call in was. He said he took the orders and gave me the number. Wait, what's the number again? He was looking away and giving someone else their food, so he didn't see me dial on my giant Nokia phone. Everyone else behind me certainly did. Those phones were huge and could be used for self-defense. His phone next to the cash register rang and he picked it up. He ignored me. I started to scream. Yeah, can I get a number one combo for pickup? Can you repeat that? Someone is being really loud in here. It's hard for me to hear over his yelling. Number one combo. Oh, number one combo. Sorry, it's loud in here. This is when the manager notices me and the cashier yelling into our respective phones. And he has noticed half the restaurant looking at us as we completed the order. Okay, 15 minutes ready? Yes. You can stop yelling, it's quite there again. Oh, sorry, the person stopped yelling. I know. I see you soon, you've been great. He puts in the order and looks up to see my grin. I'm unsure he ever understood what just went down, but his now red faced manager sure did. Everyone got a good chuckle and the food was delicious. They changed policies soon after, so not because of me. They lost business to the restaurant next door from people without cell phones. The next story is called, they demanded that I do it. This happened in Australia a few years ago. I worked in the call center for a telco that did everything possible to stop employees from calling in sick or going home sick. At first it was refusing to accept legal free documentation and requiring you to see a doctor, even for the mildest of issues. They moved on to just make life difficult for you if you called in sick or needed to go home. Asking too many questions, wanting to know specifics, threatening pay, things like that. They then started calling up the doctors to get information, then asking staff to sign agreements to allow them to call their doctors and discuss in full detail. The final straw came when they introduced a new policy, which they never put in writing. If people were too sick to work, then they were too sick to go home and should require an ambulance at their own expense. Most people would either just walk out and suddenly face issues for leaving work without permission or decide to put up with the illness. As a result, things started to spread. So I decided to put a stop to it. One day, unwell with a pretty nasty flu, I informed the boss that I would be leaving early. I was told that I need an ambulance if I was too sick to work, so I called one. The EMTs arrived with a gurney and all the gear that comes with an emergency asking where the patient is. I came up and they started asking me questions about what was wrong. And I innocently told them that I just had something flu-like, had the sniffles, icy hot skin, goosebumps, nothing too dramatic. They got a nod that I'd called them and asked me why I did. So I said that my manager had told me that I needed an ambulance if I couldn't work. My manager and his manager naturally swore black and blue that no one had informed me of this and I had done this entirely on my own back. So I showed the EMTs the video I'd recorded in the private meeting room of my manager telling me otherwise. I told them that I told the boss I just had the flu and that I didn't think the ambulance was necessary, but it was apparently company policy. They asked me if I needed them, then left when I said I didn't. My boss pulled me into a meeting room to discuss my behavior and tell me I'd breach the law by recording without permission. I asked them simply who would come out worse. 
me for recording a conversation to protect my interest why the company acted illegally or them being recorded for trying to force an employee to call an ambulance for a flu. Between unions, social media, fair work commissions and the HR department, the results would be far more catastrophic for the lying manager than the poor, hard-done employee with the flu. They sent me home and when I returned a few days later, I was informed that they would be dropping the matter. No one else was asked to call an ambulance and the company was fined pretty severely for raising ambulance resources. Which one is your favorite story of today's video? Let me know in the comment section below. And please don't forget to press the like button, it is really important. Thanks and now let's go to the last story. The last story is called That's What I Said. This happened about 8 years ago when I worked at a gas station while in school. This happened during some time when the Powerball had a fairly high jackpot, nothing crazy but higher than normal. Some info on the lottery for those unaware. You can fill out a sheet with your numbers and have multiple sets of numbers. You pay 2-3 to three dollars for each set on a ticket. This is then run through a machine and a receipt is printed. At that point the store is charged for the entry, so the customer needs to pay for it. You can choose to have the same number run for more drawings after. You just check a box for how many drawings you want. If you run a ticket through the machine twice, it just makes a duplicate for the same drawing. So I guess if you win, you win twice as much, excluding the jackpot. But not really something anyone would do. This woman came in with a thick wad of cash and a prefilled ticket. I greet her and she just drops the ticket on the counter without replying. I need this but through the machine 20 times. I look down at the ticket, 5 sets of numbers, all with the power play. One drawing of this costs $15, so if she wanted it to draw for the next 20 drawings it would cost $300. But what she said was that she wanted the same ticket 20 times, all for the next drawing. It's the same price, but not what people normally want. So I asked, ok, did you mean you wanted this to run for the next 20 drawings? No. I said, I want you to put this in the machine 20 times, so I have 20 individual tickets. So you want this all to draw at the same time? Yes, that's what I said. Ok, I just want to be sure that this is what you want. So these will all be duplicate tickets, all drawing on Friday. Mhm. Mm so I take the ticket and run it through. Out pops the confirmation ticket and receipt. I look up and she just says, yes, keep putting it through. I do this a few more times and just ask, ok again. You are sure this is what you want? They will all draw on Friday only? She just sighed and confirmed yes. I kept going and sometime after the 12th or 13th one she says, so, do I just keep these for all the drawings after Friday? I stop feeding the ticket into the machine. No, these will all draw on Friday only and be done, just like you requested. Again, do you mean you want them to run on every drawing afterwards? She was confused and said yes. Ok, that's why I was asking so many times. These will not do that, they will draw once and be done. She starts saying that this is not what she meant and that she doesn't want the ones I already printed off and says, who would want that? Exactly why I asked you so many times. I'm sorry, but you need to buy these as there is no way we will be able to sell them. No, I won't. I want the ones I ask for. She was starting to get upset and at this point our arson assistant manager who was nearby stepped in. Excuse me, ma'am. But I heard our employee ask you several times before he started and he even explained the difference to you. He cannot sell the tickets printed out, which he only did after you repeatedly stated that this is how you wanted them done. The woman started to look like she was going to bolt out the door at this point. So the assistant manager added, and if you don't, we'll have to treat it as theft and call the cops. She finally relented and bought the tickets. She then used the remainder of her money to buy the tickets how she intended to, just not as many draws. She left without another word. She honestly wasn't that bad, but she did have some attitude like she knew everything. Thanks for watching the video. 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe for more content. Have a great day and stay safe. Bye bye.